Hello everybody, the Drafter here, and welcome to another tutorial in my Sky Factory survival series. Uh, today, I can anticipate you already, we are going to spawn some blazes. The monster blaze, yeah. Uh, in fact, in the last episode, uh, we finally built an automated station to crush stone and sieve it. I mean, crush sand in order to get stone, so we can sieve it and get a lot of blaze powder. And now you can finally have an answer on this cage over here that I built some episodes ago. You can finally know what this cage is for. Uh, of course, we are going to spawn some blaze, so you don't want this guy anywhere <laughs> close to wood, or they will set to fire everything. And since our world consists of wood for the main part, I had to replace everything in the nearby proximity of this cage with uh, half slabs, slabs of uh, smooth stone. But, 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 let's just go straight into the topic of today's tutorial. Uh, we want to spawn a blaze so we can fight it and then we can get uh, its blaze rods that we can then use to make new seeds called uh, blaze seeds. There you go, we need four blaze rods at least. I am prepared for five of these fights. I strongly recommend uh, an armor, of course, a weapon, yeah. That's the very starter weapon we made in one of the first episodes, but let's see what we need in order to summon a blaze. As you can imagine, we could use some lava, so let's take some lava uh, at hand. We got some into my portable tank, so let's grab a bucket over here. Then we need to craft the doll itself, first of all. Thanks to Ex Nihil, of course, we have two recipes. One will use emerald and one will use diamonds. Uh, let's take the diamond first. So the first thing you want to do is make some porcelain, that is bone meal and clay, always from Ex Nihilo. Then you want to shape the porcelain and the... Uh, oops, I made my calculation. <laughs> uh, I need more bone meal and clay, so just give me a second. So back at the starting point, <laughs> now I have enough bone meal and clay. Let's make a few, that's five, you will need five porcelain for each doll, so let's say at least we need 25, no, 20 for the moment, five are ready into the crafting table, and that's how you want to shape your porcelain and diamond in order to make a doll, just an X and a diamond on top. So let's grab our first doll, precious doll, nice, very good, and uh, the, the other recipe is exactly the same. Four porcelain is shaped as an X and the emerald on top of it. Now we can take our precious doll and we can use it to make an angry doll, which will give us, a, yeah, an angry doll, <laughs> like so. That's why we needed the blaze powder. Then we're gonna need some nether wart, glowstone, and the redstone shaped in this formation. Uh, the blaze powder at the edges, then the nether wart on top, glowstone in the middle, and redstone in the bottom. Let's grab the first angry doll and then we are going to use our lava. So let's grab a bucket of lava and let's put it in the stone barrel. Let's be careful, you need to use a stone barrel. So now the documentation uh, on the wiki says that this may explode <laughs> because yeah, the next thing you have to do in order to spawn the blaze is a right click with your angry doll onto the stone barrel and this will spawn the blaze. I made this floor two blocks deep, let's hope it will not explode on us and so let's spawn our first blaze. Uh, what happened, what happened, what happened? Nothing happened. Where is my blaze? Uh, it's so, uh, there you go, it's doing something, particles are coming out from the stone barrel. Let's be, let's stay a bit away from the stone barrel. I think it's almost ready, it's almost ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah, you have to wait a bit in order to get your blaze, but be sure, <laughs> be sure that it will happen for sure. Uh, oh, more particles, more particles. I think we're almost there, guys. Uh, that's nice. You have to wait a bit, then you get scared to death <laughs> when the blaze will spawn into your room. Uh, that's why I made this uh, cage, by the way. So, yeah, you can also spawn them and leave. Let's try this. Uh, let's go outside of the cage. And there you go. That's our uh, blaze waiting for us inside. 
I just want to go in and kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Uh, that's why I want to use um, an armor, <laughs> because yeah, it will hit hard on you. And uh, yeah, as you saw, as you can see, the lava barrel got consumed, and as well the angry doll. So let's eat some bread. Let's take another precious doll from our craft table, and uh, let's grab another barrel bucket of lava. Uh, let's put our angry uh, precious doll into this other crafting table to get another angry doll and let's spawn another blaze uh, hopefully this will get us some blaze rods otherwise we have to keep doing and keep doing and keep doing this so I will cut this uh, uh, to the moment that I have four uh, blaze rods and then we will take it from there guys I'll bring you in guys just for this fight, so far nothing exploded because in the Wyla box on top of the screen you can see that you have a counter, uh, oh our first blaze rod, perfect, you have a, a countdown that tells you when the blaze will be ready, so we used all our diamonds, I'll keep doing this and I'll see you in a bit guys. Perfect, as the sun is rising uh, behind me, I just acquired my fourth blaze rod. Uh, of course, if you have a fortune, a looting weapon, it will go faster than you. For me, it took exactly eight tries. In fact, my tank, portable tank, is empty. Uh, here we have two left, and here we have nothing left. <laughs> so let's put these over here. We don't really need that mm, right now. Uh, let's go to the... Uh, MA system, our storage system that we saw how to make a few episodes ago because we need some essence, some strong essence and one seed. Let's take a look at our seed. So let's grab, oh, I can probably do something like that. Blaze seed. So that's that. And we got everything in place with shift plus left click. Let's just put our four blaze rod, perfect. And let's grab our newly created blaze seed. So in the next episode, we are going to use the blaze rods that we can get uh, thanks to the blaze essence to create some powerful weapon and armors. So what's left in this episode to do is just go over the magical crop area where I have all the patches <laughs> nice and lined up and uh, plant our blaze crop and just grow it with our watering can just like so like always guys so i think this will be all for today's episode uh, i hope you enjoyed i hope you find it interesting and entertaining as well as useful for you don't forget to subscribe and like this video uh, it will help my channel and will keep this series alive let me know in the comment if you have suggestions or if you want to see something else something specific and so i wish you a very good day and i hope to see you in the next tutorial ciao ciao